we're lucky to have experts with us on this field trip to guide us to keep us safe in the outdoors when we're out and about. And Luke, you've been involved in lots of search and rescues over the years, but what can someone do if they're lost to make it easier to be found? That's a really good question. I think the most important thing to do in the first instance is just to stop, stop, stay calm, have a think about your situation and then decide on a good course of action from there. It's really important that you put yourself in a position where people that are looking for you are going to be able to see you or hear you. So if you can get yourself to an open space where a helicopter can see you for example, it can be a clearing and you don't even have to walk far, just where you're going to be visible. If you've got high visibility clothing, bright clothing, make sure people can see that if they're looking for you. Yeah, and I'd say that's probably a good place to start. Mm, and if you are moving from one spot to the other to make it easier to be tracked, what little tricks can you use? Yeah, I'd say don't try and be too sneaky. When you're moving around like that, break branches on trees, stamp your feet into the ground so you leave good, clear footprints for people to see. That stuff's really important. Because even if we don't find exactly where you are, if we find your tracks, we should be able to track to where you are. Yeah, and using that STAR model, stop, think, assess and respond, because every situation can be slightly different. But a lot of rescues, Luke, are preventable. Absolutely. And that's probably the biggest message to take away, I would say, is that you give some thought to what you're going to do. You need to tell people exactly where you're going, what time you'll be due back, and be prepared. Make sure you've got the right clothing, stuff that will keep you dry, warm, and again bright, so if, it does, if the worst does happen, you can be seen. Think about communication. Take a phone with you. Phones don't always work, but they do work in a lot of places close to towns. Um, if you're going more into the wilderness especially, a PLB is a great idea to have. And just navigation equipment as well, so you, hopefully you won't get lost in the first place. Mm, and speaking of navigation, Carl, you've got quite a few techniques to remind us of and a few tools as well. Yeah, that's right. We haven't really talked about it too much, but what I've got with me is my cell phone. And on my cell phone, I've got this great mapping application which tracks everywhere I go, has all the topo maps online available to me, and also extra information like hunting boundaries and that type of thing. So places where I don't really want to go, I can make sure I can stay out of. I've got no cell phone coverage here, so I can't send a signal. But I do actually have satellite coverage, and I'm checking our location at this bridge, and it's coming in very, very close. So that's a good thing as well. So it can be used offline, which is really handy. And there's so much to remember when you're thinking about adventures in the outdoors. Key to think about challenging yourself, but not too much, staying within your own skill level. And there's heaps of reminders online, like the Mountain Safety Council website has a bunch of great videos that you can check out. And we've got the likes of the map reading guide to help as well. Yeah, that's got loads and loads of information in it. Some of it's actually quite complicated, so it's good to use our map reading guide along with other information on the web, so YouTube is great as well. If what we're saying here, you don't quite understand, certainly find out and make sure you understand what we're trying to get across in these messages. Mm, and it's always more fun to go with other people, especially to start with, to build your skills. Hey, well, it's been a great week here on the Get Outdoors field trip. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you can join us on another field trip soon. Ka kite anō. Ka kite. See you.